Hey, it's your boy Kenny Nation Nova Slayton, Nova Chronicles. And it's your boy Dysfunctional, Dysfunctional World. And today we'll be hitting the Zodiac again. Today we'll be doing the Bible Quest, my homeboy. Gonna kick my butt if we don't do it this time. Gemini male and Aries female. So I'm gonna let you start. Wow. <laughs> well, from this connection, their love and passion is nothing to be messed with because both of them. Aries has a high sex drive, and Jim and I have a very idealistic of doing things, so they have catchy ways of having sex. They, uh, if it's a bad relationship, they spew bad words and verbal assault at each other, but both of them have thick skin, so neither one of them hurt the other for real. Aries is the warrior, and Jim and I has the fire to light they, they light, so... You know, they, they match, they mingle, they're pretty good together. So, uh, people just think it's a coincidence for air and fire to go together naturally. Air being the Gemini and fire being the Aries. But I'm not so sure that these always mesh well together. Everybody know over and over and over, Gemini intellectual uh, level is like one of his own. And when I say intellectual, I don't mean like it's smarter than most of all the zodiacs. I'm just saying that. It really thinks outside the box, always thinking, always having concepts. The Aries fire, and when you say fire, the first thing you think about is uh, not so patient. Mm. Because when your ass is on fire, what do you do? You run. You move quick. And so patience is not one of the virtues of the Aries, especially maybe a female. So with these two signs gelling together, I think that... Uh, it's an awkward matchup because the Aries are more about action, mm -hmm. physical, uh, show me physical stuff, something that, that burns deep inside, like show me. And the Gemini bring an intellectual side to the Aries that they're missing in their life. Not just that, but also showing like uh, a sense of a swag that can irritate you a little bit. Like, dang, Gemini, like, you talk a good conversation and stuff, and that's all all you got? Like, what's your action? Uh, the thing, the problem between these two matchups is that the the fight for, for territory is going to be horrible. Like, the, mm -hmm, go in that situation, with the Aries being the female and the Gemini being the male, the Aries takes on a submissive role. Everything runs smoothly. Yeah, yeah, it has now, to be submissive. If she doesn't submit, they're going to bump heads a lot. It'll be a relationship of hell. I think the Gemini can figure it out, the correction stuff. It's just do the Gemini want to figure it out? Do the Gemini want to find a solution? Want to find a way to uh, to counter the rush that the Aries puts on somebody, the fire inside that, that, that burns? And do uh, the Aries going to be a little bit more patient and not get irritable by the mind game that the Gemini could play with you. Um, I think the Gemini is more of a trickster. And mm -hmm. a trickster can be ir irritable at times and uh, make you feel like everything's a game. Uh, the Gemini is the hard, uh, easy to move on real quick. So it's hard to get in a committed relationship. The Aries may feel like you're drowning out the fire inside the, gym, the woman that really wants to engage real fast and really make things go up in flames. And uh, it's hard. The sexual relationship will be very uh, uh, experimental because both of them are intrigued by different things. But in the end, what do you say about these two matchups? Mm, in the end, I say this couple will be good, exciting, and challenging. Um, a healthy way for both of them to live and love each other. If the Aries chooses to be the submissive, the Gemini, the head. Um, I give them, I think I give them a thumb and a half. Mm. Yeah. So he gives a thumb and a half out of three being the, the highest possibility. Okay, my homeboy, don't beat me up because this is not a control factor. This is only, you know what I'm saying, I understand it. I keep trying to break that down to people. Just not saying this is how things going to end up. But with this relationship right here, 
I will have to give it who hmm? one thumbs up, one thumbs down. Hmm. And I'm saying thumbs up because I feel like love conquer all. Mm-mm. It doesn't. Mm-mm. Okay, love conquer some of all mm-hmm. things. But the thumb down because at the end of the day, unless it's something educational, uh, a hobby or something that attracts you to each other, it's really going to be like a little of a shaded area y'all going to reach. And when y'all reach that shaded area, the gym not going to be bored out of the area's lack of uh, intellectual compelledness. And the areas are going to be a little bit bored out of the gym and not always having to overthink stuff and not just going with the flow. The flow. So it could work. Like I said, not control. But it has to be something y'all have really in common, a history or something behind it that makes it work. Well, this is your boy, Ken A. Nova Slayton, Nova Chronicles. This is your boy, Dysfunctional, Dysfunctional's World. Peace. Logging out.